What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for February 4th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news from the day, from the official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all media to Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date in the loop with all the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and let's start off the day with the biggest news of the day and of course that is the surprise launch of the brand new pokemon trading card game app on ios and android devices this info is coming from the official pokemon website as well as the footage being provided by serebi.net and everyone please click the link in the description below i'm gonna have the link to the official serebi.net video of this so when you you're finished watching this video you can also go to the official video on Sarah B's YouTube page and give the video a view as well as a like now again this is coming from the Pokemon official website and it says track your Pokemon at trading card game cards on the go the Pokemon trading card game card decks is coming soon to help you browse and scan your Pokemon trading card collection with your mobile device a new app for iPhone iPad Android devices is coming soon that will make managing Pokemon trading card game collection easier please note that this app is actually currently available only in Sweden right now but is going to be rolled out to other countries very soon the Pokemon training card game card decks is available at no cost so this is going to be a free app for all users and it will let you browse all cards released since the launch of the Pokemon training card game Sun and Moon series currently any cards before the Sun and Moon training card game series cannot be added to the apps decks by using your your device camera on your phone you can scan on your phone or tablet you can scan and keep track of cards in your collection right inside of the app plus you'll be able to look up cards in the built-in Pokemon trading card game database including cards you haven't added to your collection the Pokemon trading card game card deck supports English French Italian German Spanish and Portuguese scan cards will appear in the game app in the language the player has selected even if the physical card is in a different language. This is a convenient translation tool for international players and collectors. The app launches today in Sweden again and soon will be available worldwide to download for iPhones, iPads, on the App Store for Android devices on Google Play. Check back for more details right here on Pokemon.com. Now, I think the idea of this app is great. It gives Pokemon trading card game players the ability to have their whole collection organized with them digitally on a phone app and I can see competitive players loving this being able to see and build decks on the fly and be able to you know organize and see what they have in a collection and what cards are they missing from the collection this idea again is pretty cool where it starts to get a little tricky is the actual description of the use of this app you have to actually scan in card by card and for most players that means scanning in potentially thousands of cards into this app and that's just counting the cards that you can scan because you can't scan anything before the sun and moon sets which leaves so many cards out of the picture and obviously I understand why programming the app to know and register all of the millions upon millions of Pokemon cards at launch is kind of of an impossible task to ask but I'm sure the hardcore players are gonna ask for it and I'm sure the Pokemon company will try and define a way to drip feed the old cards into the app so they can be a way that they can store and also have the collections of cards previously from the sun and moon series on the app as well i don't know i like it but again it seems kind of aimed for a certain audience the hardcore pokemon trading card game players and i feel like casuals kind of like myself people who may pick up a deck here and there is not going to need a trading card game app that is just allows you to view the cards on the the phone when again
again, this is aimed for players who are secretly active looking for the missing cards that they need and stuff like that. I don't know. I just kind of wish we got an official Pokemon training card game online working fully on mobile and not like how we have it now where it's just kind of for tablets and on PC and it doesn't run well sometimes and you could technically get the APK to run on your phone, but it's a glitch piece of garbage truck on fire. So that's just a whole different story. I probably do a video on how to get that working and how to try to get it working functionally good in a different video. Now, moving on to some Pokemon Go news. Now, this is coming from PokemonGoLive.com, the official Pokemon Go website. It says, Trainer, happy year of the pig. The Pokemon Go Lunar event is happening. Once again, spotlighting 12 Pokemon and beginning February 4th, which is today and has already begun. The event will feature Pokemon such as Rattata, Atkins, Mankey, Ponyta, Electabuzz, Dratini, Murkeep, Murtank, Torchic, Puchiana, Spunk, and Burnray. And all of these Pokemon will be appear more in the wild. And, and if you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny Spunky. And with this event, we're also getting a couple of bonuses, and that is the catch two times bonus for XP. And then we're also getting a 2x XP when evolving Pokemon. Also, when you trade a Pokemon, there's an increased chance that it will become a lucky Pokemon. And then they go wishing us health, wealth, and luck during this Lunar New Year. Stay safe and happy exploring the Pokemon Go team. So this is a cool little event in my opinion. Great to know that we're getting two new shinies within the game with the whole Spunk in its evolved form family line. Also, some other Pokemon featured in the event have shinies already in the game. So again, there's a little good event here where we can be able to shiny hunt if you're into shiny hunting and Pokemon Go. Here's also the boxes that they put in the store. So during the event, which is again, eh. but let me know what you guys think about this event in the comment section below, good or bad. Let's talk about it in the comments. I think it's good. Again, I always love that Pokemon Go is keeping the ball rolling with events. 2019 has been a okay year so far. We're rolling into the second month. So we're rolling into the second wave of events. So I'm liking the idea that they're keeping the events rolling. Now, while we're on the topic of Pokemon Go, Niantic had a meeting with a group of Pokemon Go YouTubers, mostly the same group that we all know Niantic to work with. Most likely this was to talk about Pokemon Go and their events that they having planned throughout this brand new year. I'm just putting this out there because most likely we're going to see more of this Pokemon Go research squad video, or whatever they call themselves. I thought it was cool season one seeing Nick, Mystic 7, Reversal, and the gang kind of, you know, have videos about Pokemon Go and stuff like that. I thought it was pretty cool. I was into it. I'm sure this means that we're going to get more types of videos like that coming this year, especially with all the events they probably have planned this year. So I just wanted to include this in the news just to let you guys know that most likely we're going to get season two of that or we're going to have more events where it's going to include Pokemon Go YouTubers because again Niantic calling them all to San Francisco to have a meeting yeah something is about to happen and that's going to be it guys for today's news let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on all the topics that we went over today from this brand new lunar event inside Pokemon Go also the Pokemon Go is being flown out to Niantic what do you think is going on and let me know your thoughts on this brand new Pokemon trading card game app for iOS and Android devices. Are you going to download it? Are you going to be entering your Pokemon cards that you got into this app? Let me know what's your thought on this whole database Pokemon trading card game online app. Now that's going to be it. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.